In the debate on global warming, people usually talk about CO2, but the impact of methane gas is 28 times greater than that of CO2. Livestock produces methane and are therefore, unfortunately, important polluters. The biogas plants or fermenters from Bioelectric make it possible to use the manure as a raw material for sustainable energy. At Bioelectric, we make small-scale biogas installations running on manure. The system comprises of a container and a silo. The first one is to collect the manure in. The container eventually processes the methane gas to electricity and renewable heat. Biogas installations are usually bigger and they work on maize or organic waste. At Bioelectric, we only use manure. Uh, which has no value in the food chain whatsoever. A major advantage is that there's always manure, a sustainable, raw material that doesn't depend on the unpredictable elements of nature, as is the case with solar and wind energy. It's an attractive business case for the farmers. Bioelectric offers installations for farms starting at 60 cows. The smallest unit has a cost of around 100,000 euros. It takes only an average of two days to build a bioelectric installation as compared to a classic biogas installation that takes six months up to a year. Trying to stop people from eating meat and consuming dairy products to save the climate is hard. That's why a bioelectric installation is part of the solution. It significantly reduces the ecological footprint of agricultural activities and at the same time entitles the farmer to become energy independent. Thanks to the new shareholder, Akademans and Van Haren, bioelectric will continue to grow and further develop their expertise in various parts of Europe. Meat and milk production are quite uh, climate change intensive. They emit a lot of CO2 equivalents. Um, with a bioelectric installation, a farmer can reduce the equivalents by about 70%.